uh, today I want to teach you how to print labels on a glass bottle. And these are flat, so that's important. They're not round bottles, so it would have to be flat glass that you're printing on. I'm going to make a printer out of wood. And I'm really not going to give you all the measurements and everything because depending on your project, it'll be different. But once I build it, I'm going to show you how it looks and what the important things that you have to do. It's very simple. I mean, let me just tell you, we're going to print five bottles at a time. So I, I cut these half inch uh, stocks out. And so what we're going to do is print five bottles at a time. And so we want to be able to slide these bottles in the same place each time. Right? So basically, I'll put a brace here so they can push the bottle in. And the screen is a 305 mesh screen. And we're just going to put hinges so we can lift it up and remove the bottles and put it back. And the screen has to be about an eighth inch higher than the bottles. And that's simply, that's all you need to do. And um, uh, so, uh, so I'm going to glue these down and do a little more work. And you'll see how it, it looks in the end. Uh, so I'm going to turn the camera off, get to work, and I'll get back with you. And then we're going to show how it, to actually print and what materials you use to print with. All right? I'm making spacers. So these bottles will fit in there nice and snug. So the way I'm doing it is it real simple. I'm putting glue You don't want the bottles to move, so. Okay, they're going to hold it steady. I'm going to do this with all five bottles. Okay, so what I did, this is a plywood base, but I used MDF. It's just easier to cut and work with. And, and you can see I made dividers. So all the bottles, when we're printing, will slide right in there. So now all we have to do is put something here and have hinges and we made a printer. That's how simple it is. Uh, the next video I'm going to show is how to print signs. Everybody's always asking how to print signs. So anyway, let me uh, proceed. Okay, so here is the printer. Basically, that's a 2x4, some hinges, and I bought these cool clamps. You see how I just clamped the hinge on it? So, this is how it works. It just lifts up. Alright, so we're going to be able to slide the bottles out. And then put new bottles in there each time. See, I made a uh, I made a thing where we definitely can stop all five bottles. All right. So what we did? Sorry. Let me move. Oh, that's out of the way. Okay. So what I did is we taped. 
the logo where it's going to go. That, now, that's just a printed Xerox copy. Right? Like that. And we cut it out, we taped it where it's going to go on the bottle, and you can see through the screen. Now, now I'm going to make a vellum. I'll show you how I'm going to do that. So, so I'm going to take, see this clear, clear acetate, or the, I got it at Kinko's, probably for a dollar. I'm not sure what I paid for it, but I'm going to lay that down. And I'm actually going to mark the screen so I know exactly where to put that vellum. And so I made a vellum. See my other videos on how to print out a vellum. With all these, and I'm going to cut them all out. And you'll see I'm going to line these vellum on each one of these. And so when we burn the image, it'll all be in the right place. So let me go ahead and cut that out and I'll work on it and I'll show you what we did there. Okay, so what Jennifer's doing is taking the vellum and lining it up best possible to the artwork underneath it. The artwork underneath is a little bigger, but that really doesn't matter. We just want it all in the, in the right place. And see the clear plastic, what I did? I taped it down on the corner, right, so it doesn't move. I took a marker and I drew a black line right there. And those other lines going this way. So when we burn the image, you're going to see that black line in the screen. And uh, we're going to be able to put this image right in the right place. So that is, uh, once we're done, that this one will be ready to burn. And then we're going to do the other one for the, uh, for the warning label for the other side. All right, so um, we burned the image of the screen. This is the warning label we're doing first. And um, now, what we need to do is have the screen be about an eighth of an inch higher than um, the label. So, I mean, the, the glass bottle. So, let's kind of line it up. So, I put a, a piece of glass core. So, I have the, it's kind of where I want it on the bottle. So, we are now, I need to make a mark where that is. Okay, so now what we're going to do is lift this up. So now I'm going to clamp it. Here, hey, bring it, push this side more in. Get what it you do? Don't do anything. I'm in charge. All right, so now. I'm putting the clamps on it. Okay, so now it's an eighth inch above. But we need to also put a stopper on this, on this side. So the screen is definitely an eighth inch higher. So I'm going to put a screw. So I'm going to put a screw here to hold this end up so the screen is away from the bottles. Must be, it cannot lay flat on the bottles if you're printing on bottles. So we're going to put something here. I might just put a block of wood. So I'm going to turn the camera off and I'm going to get something to, to block that up. Okay, I I am going to show later in the video this this uh, what I did here, what I mixed. But basically, I contacted 
NASDAR Inc. And we bought a gallon of the ADE series. It dries on the bottle. And you need to use one fifth of a cat glass catalyst. That makes the uh, ink uh, uh, activate and dry. And then we added a retarder in it to make the ink dry slower. And that was just like a teaspoon. So one fifth to the catalyst. And then, um, you know, five parts ink, one, or four parts ink, one fifth, one part of a catalyst for that ink. If you're doing, uh, um, If you're doing other, uh, so there we go. We printed on a bottle. We printed on five of them, I believe. Okay, so we need to take the bottles out. Okay. Put many of them here. You don't have them to me. But take them out that way. Don't 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 do it. That. Pull them out and then put five more in. Don't let them touch. Do they look printed all right? If there's any flaws, we're going to take, okay, this ink, um, um, I just cleans up with acetone. So if there's any flaws in the, the label, we're going to wipe it off. Okay, we're going to take acetone. Really, they didn't work. There's one that works. Um, now we should keep track of where that one was. Yeah, it's probably the first one, but who knows? What was, uh, what's happening? Oh, yeah. Okay, so take acetone on a rag and wipe them up. And give me five more bottles and let's have a look I'll at wipe what, them. You what give them the bottles if you want. To. Okay. The idea was to print five bottles at once, but maybe we can't. Maybe it's uneven or something. One of them, Bob, I bumped. So that oh, was okay. Easy. All right. Yeah, that's going to happen. So you want to clean those off okay. and dry them off. And I put them over Maybe skin. I pushed too hard. Take a, um, that was a good one or not? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's just the first one. Okay. Is the better one? You did them again? I'm going to try something else next time we go through. Yeah, these don't have hardly any ink in Yeah, I, I think I might have to pass the other way rather than what, what's happening is the squeegee is kind of going bump, 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 bump. Okay. And it might be not working. So clean these? Yep. So let's get five more bottles in right away and then let's try it uh, pushing the other way. You see there's enough ink probably to do all 500 in the screen right yeah. now. <laughs> and so okay. we might end up doing that if we can't. Uh, yeah, because we don't want to throw yeah, away yeah. that ink. I understand. Okay, so let's try this. I think this might be the solution. Tell me it worked. No. no. 
Did your first one work? Oh. Okay, I've got to push harder. Okay. We're going to get it. It's yes. a matter of uh, uh, time. Put five more in there. Uh, and uh, silk screening is 99% how to do the screen tea. It really is. When he was building the structure. Fingers. Nope. Hmm. No. 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 Wow. Is it too I thin? I really want that white ink to come out. Is it too thin, too thick? What? All right, let's try it again. Bob, we keep doing the same thing. I, no, we're trying different pressures and stuff. But we got to keep trying, so there's no, there's no backing out now. Well, I realize that, but this could be really it could be the mixture or something, right? No, the mixture of the ink. No. Because the first batch worked. Yeah. This could be re this could be reused, John. Instead of getting fresh ones out. Oh, okay. We need those for whatever. Except they've got that acetate on them. Well, it, it, it evaporates. We just need to dry it real quick. Wipe them real quick and that's it. it well, dries. and also it's just evaporates. turn it to another side. Yeah, I don't really need the side. Okay. Evaporates quickly. Okay, cool. This one has white on it at the top. Okay. I'm wondering if I have it too far away from. You feel it. them all? Oh yeah. Let me let me have a look here. I'm gonna try a couple things. Okay. We want more ink to come through. Right. It is far away, Bob. But it presses down. It flexes. That screen flexes down. You can see down it hits. Did it work? Okay, now I'm not pushing too hard. It's crooked. Well, it's it looks um, blurry. Blurry. It's not like, crooked. Yeah, blurry. Okay. That's what I meant. It's straight. Yeah, that's because that's because multiple, I keep doing multiple it. hits on the same bottom. Yeah, blurry. God dang. All right. Let's maybe try to do one in. On there. <laughs> What's, what's the matter with this one? It's got white Can on it. Can you say that again about the freaking this and that? <laughs> yeah, I can't remember. Come on, let's go. I need uh, two more bottles. Here. It's all going on there. It's all on YouTube You now. finally figured it out, and now you're like, hop to it, people! <laughs> finally. Yeah, it didn't take you that long. How long does it take for that to dry? Right? Okay, we're hoping this is the deal. Let's go. Now, the reason I'm hurrying is... I don't want the yeah, ink to dry. dry. Yeah. Okay. Go. I don't mean to be. Are they still white and clear? Yeah. Good. Cup, cup.
Okay. Okay, I lowered the screen. Wait a second. Uh, yeah, those two out. are done. Okay, one of us okay, should be... check them. Are those fresh? Yeah. So I lowered the screen. I cleaned the uh, screen off with this because it was a little, the ink was a little dry. So it seems to be working when I do it one by one. We really need to go. I'm sorry, it's starting to get dull and I'll have to clean the screen again. The yeah, see, it's, the ink is drying in the screen. So I need to maybe add a little more retard to it. I'll get some more. All right, we're almost done with uh, 500 <coughs> bottles. It just took a few hours. But I wanted to show you what I'm doing here, the fast open. Because this ink is um, dries, even with the, uh, see I can feel it drying, it's really. You gotta unplug the screen, so. Um, this ink, a little bit, look, it is still the same ink I used, mm -hmm. and look at how much is left. So I probably mixed too much ink. But I want to show you what I'm doing. Got to clean that screen out because it, the image is doesn't show up that well. Then you have to spray it from both sides. The other thing, I'm reusing these paper towels. I'm just throwing them on the ground and they're this fast open uh, dries really fast. So I can just keep reusing the paper towels. It's basically like a hairspray, huh? Yeah, it's. Uh, I think it's uh, acetone in a spray can. Basically, what hairspray is <laughs> with a little bit of starch. Well, yeah. hairspray has stuff in it that will Sh stick shellac well, right? And stuff, yeah. Yeah, no, it, this is. Not sticking at all. All right, so load up. Um, so yeah, we went through. We started at 1.30, and it's 4 o'clock. So we actually printed all these in that short of time. But look at all this ink I have left. Yeah. We're going to try to print um, the front of the bottle. You have, um, the, you have the screen inside, right? Go ahead. Um, How they looking, all right, or no? Three, four. I, kind of light. I think there's still um, stuff in it that's messed up. All right, load it up again. If you if this chemical stays on the screen, it messes things up. So now, what's cool about printing on bottles? If you make a mistake, mm -hmm. you take acetone and just clean it off right away, and you just reprint it. So you don't have any, uh, but. Uh, you don't have any mistakes. <clears throat> uh, 
I don't know if you can see that. This one's. We're going to put juice in it. These are juice bottles, so you'll be able to see that label a lot better. It's but it's five. Yeah, that's so nice. All right, so we printed the bottles the other day on a Friday, and we printed this warning label. <clears throat> we did about 500 bottles in about, I think it was about three hours. Now, the ink kept drying, so I had to keep cleaning the screen. And so what I'm going to do on this design, rather than try to do five, at a time. We're going to do one at a time. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to put super glue on this and put it down on there and actually make two screens out of this one screen. So we just print one bottle at a time. I think that'll prevent um, it from clogging because we'll it will be a lot faster. Okay, this is the printer I'm making for a one bottle thing. And you can see basically, I, I love MDF because it's real easy to cut. But basically I just made a place for the bottle and then I'm going to block it. So when we load it, it'll stop it. And then this is exactly the right height. And you'll see when I do this, uh, once I put the screen on there, it's about an eighth of an inch higher. You, you cannot lay the screen directly on the glass. The reason is the glass does not absorb the ink. So when you press the squeegee, if it's laying on the bottom, the ink will smear underneath. So that's why you, it's called off-contact printing. This is where you use off-contact printing. T-shirts, you... Um, it absorbs the ink, so you can lay the screen flat on there. Um, so anyway, this is me uh, making two printers. I cut the squeegee in half, the five-inch squeegee, because the other problem I was having is uh, I think this will work a lot better because it will press into where the glass is because there's a, a little dip. So with the squeegee being wider, I think that was causing a problem too. So anyway, I will show you in a little bit after I finish doing this. Uh, the reason, the, how I determined one eighth inch higher is what I did is I laid this on the bottom, on the bottle, and I measured that and added one more eighth inch. and that. That's how I did that. But basically it's a piece of plywood, MDF. You see it's very simple and it's something you can build. I'm using glue and a nail gun, so it's real simple to build for whatever bottle you're doing. Now this is for flat bottles. When you do a round bottle, it's a different process. And I, someday I'll probably show you how to build one of those. But for now, if you're printing on a flat surface on a bottle, this is how you do it. All right, so I finished the printer stand for the bottles. So basically a bottle's gonna fit in there like that. And the screen, I cut it down, like I said. And now it's, it's well, I need to tighten that up. That can't be that loose. Oh, there it is. So I put a little, see that little ridge there to hold the screen steady. 
and this to stop and so the screen goes in the same place each time all right we're gonna set it over there while we're changing the bottle did the same over here and how I lined it up we taped the artwork on the bottle and so we know where where we needed to put it so that's how we lined it up but basically you can see I just stapled MDF in different areas to to hold the bottle and to hold the screen and that's our printer so now we have two printers we're going to start printing now <clears throat> okay we're going to get ready to mix the ink I'm going to show you how to do that you see I put tape around here and inside that's so the ink won't leak out but basically this is all set to go locked in there so we have first we have the ink and so we're going to put kind of thick we're going to put um well, I don't want to drip it okay we're going to put this right here and last time we did it it really you see we did 500 bottles and it barely touched this gallon but this is a bigger image so it's going to take a little more ink so all right so this ink needs a catalyst so i'm going to move it down because we're going to i'm going to set up two printers all right I want to just go over some of the ke uh, chemicals. This is a catalyst that will activate that and uh, it'll make it be able to dry on um, the uh, screen. This is fast open. I use it for t-shirt printing, but also for this, if, uh, if the screen, this ink will start to dry if it sits a little too long. So this will clean the screen out. So you want to have that on hand. Acetone is what will clean it up. And this is, uh, they call it retarder, but it kind of slows the catalyst from drying. So we're going to add a little of that too. So the mixture is one-fifth catalyst to, so, Four parts, this is how it is, four parts of white ink and then um, and one part of catalyst. So I'm going to say it's like a teaspoon or something. Yeah, I need a spoon. And then just won't we'll, we'll clean it off right away. So we're going to add the catalyst and then... Um, so... So well, that's a teaspoon. I'm going to say um, three teaspoons. Okay, I'd wash that off right away. So, All right, so I'm mixing this up. So oh, it's basically like an epoxy is what we got going here. And um, you'll see while we're printing, it really doesn't take long for it to set on the bottles. Last time I was surprised it was like 10 minutes and you could touch it. Okay, the screen that we're using is a 300 mesh. The holes are very small. And um, that's what you need when you're printing on like glass or any kind of solid pro product like that. So 
So that's pretty mixed. Okay, can I have that teaspoon again? I'm gonna put some retardant in there. And can you watch that or drop you watch it off? You're so bossy, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's see. Oh my god. <gasps> Wait, let me see. Look at how beautiful that is. Aww. God, I need bottles. I need bottles. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, there's a mistake right there, but I'll, I'll take care of it. Okay, you take care of the mistake. What kind? What is? What? I, I hope it's not on every one we do. What is it? No, you know how. Okay, so we need the bottles over near the printer, people. We need the bottles. Okay. Are you so where set do you, this printer up too? So do you want me to um move this table over? What do you want me to do? Um I want bottles stacked up near each printer. That then I don't know what we're doing from there. I'm lost. I keep getting a dot right there. Okay, so that's on the screen. And we have to put uh tape on the screen right there. Cause that's not so what I need you to do that, Chuck. Can you see where? Where is it at? Under, under organic produce. They're coming out beautiful though, huh? Wait until juice is in them. Can you see it? Oh yeah, yeah. So there, when there's a hole in the screen, and I don't mean a whole hole, but I mean a washed out thing yeah, that shouldn't that. be there. Sorry. It's lead in the ink. You need to uh, put a piece of tape over that. Oh man, did I print on the right side of that bottle? What oh my mean? god. On the right side. Yeah. The warning label has to go down. Okay, so the warning label the must back, right? be on the other side. I wasn't looking. Where's the warning label? Right here. In the back. Yeah, you're, you're good on that. Get rid of that. I don't know, but it's not a game changer. Okay. See a little bit of that? Is that the mixture? Yeah. I, I might not have. Yeah, it's doing it on this one too, Bob. So I'm just going to. So what I'm doing is floating it and pushing ink off. Wipe it off. Yeah, no, that worked fine. Okay, so I missed it here. So we have to be real careful. Oh, I got ink on my hands. Here, so here, gloves. Maybe I'll print, and you, let's just try this, because see where, if I get ink on my hands, yeah, we need to get, gloves. We're, we're going to handle sure. the bottles, we need clean gloves, because um, any residue is going to get on the bottles. Anyway, here. Is it ready? I got ink on it. So only one person handled the ink, and then the other people handled the bottles. Yeah, all right. I'll handle bottles. So what we could do is we could put the bottles over here, Bob, all and right. then we would reverse, and then put the finished ones here. Yeah, okay, good. How did that one come out? Yeah, they're coming out. Once you get the hang of it, 
Perfect. But see, I there's ink on the squeegee, so the problem is you gotta make sure there's no ink on your hand. God, I wanna see. Once one dries, do you, do you have any juice made? You want me to go make some juice? Yeah, we want to fill a bottle. Okay. You guys! God, these are... Freaking awesome. That is, like, awesome. Thanks, Bob. we got to see how... Uh... See, I got ink on that one, too. So, my problem is... Yeah, we're going to do a reverse like we did last time. So, over here. Yep. So, Chuck, you need to load it and unload it is what yeah, you need to do. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, too. You just squeegee and I'll load and, and, and take them off. This one's good. Basically, see the ink right there? I'm, um, it's getting on my fingers, so. I imagine. Here's another squeegee. Yeah. See, the smaller squeegee is good, too. I need to wipe that off, because I don't need to have ink getting on my fingers. Here, here you go. Okay. I'll put the mistake ones up here. Yeah, you can do double check. Um, yeah, and fix. I put tape on the 3G when there's ink and you can't clean it off, so, so that, I was having that problem, so maybe that'll fix it. What is that? Acetone 2? Yeah. This is acetone 2. Okay. God, that looks so good. If you want to, um... Yeah, if you said check up, then I'll just put the bottles in, I guess. <laughs> we didn't push it all the way to the end. Right, yeah. You see that? Mm -hmm. Wait, this one? That, if the bottle okay, wasn't pushed all the way. I got it. Mr. Bottle and charge. Uh, I don't know. What do you think? Probably. I think the cotton is better, easier. Thank you, Dream Makers. Water label. Again? <gasps> Again. Chuck, you want to train your jobs? <laughs> That's all right. I'm deaf, not blind. I can see it. Okay. Oh, shoot. Yeah, it's going to have to go. Three That's a rarity. 459. <laughs> Yeah, Please. sure. Thank you. It was um, a chicken bowl. Chicken. Yeah. Light on the cheese. No cheese even. No cheese, no sour cream, guacamole. And again, try to get the 